we're here with Vanessa Marshall, who gives the voice to Mary Jane Watson on Spectacular Spider-Man. Yes, I do. What's your name? Erin. Uh, Erin, I feel like I know you. Uh, it's we'll figure that out later. Okay. <laughs> um, so, let's talk about Mary Jane. Um, oh, please. <laughs> let's discuss. Seriously. Uh, the character's been, you know, part of the Spider-Man mythology almost from the beginning. Yes. One of the most well-known, well-liked characters. Been tackled a lot in the different adaptations. So, how did you approach the character? Well, I have respect for her in her original Stanley form, you know, and, and you know, I don't want to denigrate anyone's cinematography or film work, but um, I felt that the Mary Jane that had been portrayed in the films was sort of a lot lighter and more weak, in fact, than I think her character is. I think she's much stronger, and I think um, her self-confidence and, and self-awareness is what helps fuel Peter Parker as, he, as his arc as a, as a human being, as he matures into a man. Um, and I felt that it was really important to embody that that strength as opposed to what I had seen, you know, other versions of it in the past. Obviously, the comic book, she's very strong. Um, so I felt that it was important to be true to that. And I'm kind of a geek in so far as I would care about stuff like that. Like, I don't know if well, Kirsten does read the comic books or anything, but, but I was so honored to get this part. I literally fainted when they told me I got it. And I'm not even joking. <laughs> I fell on the ground. They didn't call the doctor, but um, but I mean, are you crazy? Like seriously? No, man. I, I almost had a stroke, um, so I'm like ridiculously honored to sort of carry that torch and bear witness to her strength. So, uh, can we talk a little bit about MJ's relationship with Peter in the series? Um, uh, yeah, hi. Where is it? It's like really non-existent. Well, what I chalk that up to is obviously it's going to develop, but um, I think she has so much strength. She's, I mean, she's almost pimping out. Gwen half the time, which is so, I mean, it, of course they're together and, you know, Liz is with him or, you know, whomever, but uh, I kept waiting for some sort of connection, and I think there were only maybe two scenes where there was a bit of a, a, a sparkle between the two of them, but if, if you'd never read the comic books, you'd never even know that those guys are going to link up later. So it's it's been fascinating to get, you know, each script as we've gone along and, and not know, like, okay, is this the episode where I'm actually going to see the guy? <laughs> So uh, I'm just sort of surrendered to that process, and it's been interesting to watch, and hopefully the show will go on, you know, remains to be seen, but I hope that they'll connect more swiftly. <laughs> yeah. Um, are there any uh, particular arcs from the comics that you're actually a fan? Yeah. Um, any particular developments that MJ has in the comics you want to see play out in the series? Well, you know, it's it's difficult <laughs> in the sense that this takes place in high school, so I sort of have to transpose those arcs into, like, biology class or, you know, and some, some of the later arcs that fascinate me, you know, as their relationship becomes more secure uh, and, and way more committed. I'm curious how they're going to pull that off, like teen pregnancy or, you know, um, so I've sort of suspended my uh, disbelief insofar as it's, again, transposed onto a high school situation. So I'm more fascinated to see how they're going to pull that off or if, you know, how far it'll get to go. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, other than the relationship and, you know, some possible storylines, where would you like to see just MJ go as a person during the series? Gosh, that's an interesting question. Um, I'm really happy where she is. I really am. Um, I mean, obviously, she'll need to develop some of this fascinating to watch, but I really, I really like how grounded she is. I hope that she continues in that strength and uh, you know doesn't become like the weak victim person who's you know uh, mopey about Peter being busy all the time or whatever. That she'll have a, a sort of strength that, that fuels him in a way that uh, that I haven't really seen in some of the other versions. So. Well, thank you so much for thank your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>